today we're talking about the Forminator Pro plugin from WPMU Dev. As you can see, we're here in the back end of WordPress, we're here in the dashboard, and we're going to install the Forminator plugin. This one is a free plugin. It's awesome. We've touched it, we've touched on it in our podcast, the Divi Addicts podcast. If you're interested in some audio versions of this, you can also check out the podcast. We'll link it up in the description below. But what you want to do is go into plugins, select add new, and then we're just going to search for Forminator. And we're looking for this one by WPMU Dev. So it's Forminator, Contact Form, Poll, and Quiz Builder. There's also Forminator Pro that you can get directly from your subscription in the back end of WPMU Dev. But because we wanted to cover the free version, we're just going to install it directly from the WordPress repo. So now we're going to activate the plugin. And once things are active, now you've got Forminator Pro. It adds in this Forminator option and everything that you have in the plugin is here. So there's the dashboard and we don't have any forms created yet, but you'll get an idea. We'll jump into the dashboard and it's going to tell you how many forms you've had when your last submission was all of these great, just easy to use features. Plus they also try and plug some of their other plugins, but you know, that's whatever. So we're going to go in and create our very first one. Let's create just a basic form. You know, you get a few different options, a newsletter, quote, contact form, or blank. Let's just do a basic contact form, and we're going to put just contact form. We'll hit create, and it takes us into the actual form builder itself. And this is really cool, and they give you a lot of options here. You can preview just the basic form which we need to publish. When we publish it, it's going to give you the short code. So you can copy this and put it anywhere in your site. And we'll do a preview real quick. So this is just a very basic version of the form. Now, it's very easy to move things around in columns. Like say we wanted the first row to be first name on the left, email on the right. You just click, drag it over until it highlights blue, and it'll drop it here. We'll update. It's saved, we can hit preview, and now they're side by side. You can also insert these other fields and there's a ton of predefined options. So we've got a drop down, and you can do multiple pages, you can have currency with Stripe and PayPal payments, you can create multiple sections, you can have it so that people who visit your site can upload a file if this is a hidden form, you can make them put in a website, and we'll just add a select click on select and we can put the label choose your option option one option two and then there's settings on each one of these fields you can make it optional or required you can actually make it to where it's searchable so if you have a drop list you can make it if you have a lot of options you can make it searchable so people can actually type in pick an option you know if it's states or something along those lines you can limit submissions make it part of a calculation their styling so if you've created your own CSS classes you can assign them here and then there's visibility and this is where you can add in those rules so you can show if any of these rules so if first name is not blank it'll populate it so you can add all these different rules and do different combinations I'm going to delete this one for now, but you can do a lot with this plugin and you, this is your submit button. You can easily change the text. You can change the error messages here and you can do those custom stylings. Now we're going to update this and we will preview just to show you basic options one and two. A lot of different things you see here, a button changed, all of that. So once we've got the forms kind of in place, we can go to appearance. Now there's a few options already built in. So you've got the default, you've got flat, you've got bold, and then there's material as well, or there's no styles where you can completely customize it however you'd like. So let's do bold. We'll update, 
and we can go back into the preview and you'll see now that things are a little bit different. Not terribly different, but a little different. Then you can go down here to colors and you can pick custom. And there's a ton of different things. So the form container, we're gonna leave blank. You can go down here to input text boxes and change all the colors, focus, hover, error messages, all of that. Backgrounds, the container border, all of these. So let's say the drop list, the border. Let's go with the blue. I typed it in wrong. One eight seven seven F two. So let's say this is going to be the border, and then when we hover, we want to change it to a grayish color. We can do that. We can preview, and the drop list. Let's double check this one more time. Got it saved. We had to do it on select. If I would get on the right one, we'd be just fine. So let's do the gray color here. And then on hover, we're going to change this to the color I was attempting to do before. So border color here will update on the select option, preview, and it's lighter. And then it turns the blue whenever we hover. And there's a few more. So we've got the icon option. We can make it that same color so they match. change those so that they also match and when we focus on it we could go to any color we want we can make it black with a dark icon color as well so let's do the updates on this one we'll preview and you'll see now that it's now black because we've clicked on it and we can change all of this Even the submit button can change the background color, change what it looks like on hover, update as soon as it saves here, we can preview, and the button you can see is already changed. And you can also do custom fonts. So if the submit button you wanted to do a different font, we can do that as well. Open Sans. Let's do super bold, we'll update. As soon as it saves, we preview, and you can see things have changed. The font has changed. And if we wanted to, we could even go back to the actual fields, go down to the submit button, and change it all to capital, or uppercase. We'll update, go back into the preview, and you're gonna see now your button looks quite a bit different. So these are great options, super easy to do. And then once you've got the, the form looking exactly the way you want, you can go under behavior and change what happens when people actually submit. <coughs> so we can do just a, a message, we can redirect to a different URL, or we can just hide the, the form in general. So basically populate a message, set the time that you want it to auto close, and then it'll just completely disappear whenever you're ready. There's validation options, there's payment options, autofill, tons of other options baked into this. And then there's also email notifications where you can do multiple recipients, you can change everything about this, you can change the actual email that goes out, and you can also, also send a confirmation email to the person who submitted the form. So that's really cool. Very basic stuff, but a lot of times you don't get something this user friendly in such a, uh, in a in a free plugin. I mean, this thing is pretty all baked in. Everything is there that you might possibly need. But then there's also these integrations. So over here, you can go under integrations. Let's update real quick before we leave. Make sure you save your work, and we'll come over to the integrations and show you what can be integrated. So they've got Zapier, which is, I mean, if you're familiar with that, you can pretty much integrate with anything. You can send things to different, different platforms, all from a form submission. They've got based in, uh, basic MailChimp integration, Google Sheets, Slack, Trello, Campaign Monitor, Aweber, and ActiveCampaign. 
Uh, this one right here, the Zapier integration, gives you access to so many other integrations. So if you do that one integration, you can control where your content goes or where the form submission goes from that platform. So they've covered a lot of bases and they've even given API access. So you can go into the Forminator docs and possibly even build in your own API. Now this is part of the pro, so you really need to have Forminator Pro to do this and it's a $49 a month membership with WPMU Dev. I personally do it. There's so many other options, Smush Pro, Hustle, um, Hummingbird, and tons of other um, other other plugins that they have, and they're all top notch. The back ends look phenomenal. It's just uh, it's just some great products. And then you know, going back into the form and some of the features, they have submissions. So you can go under here, and when there's multiple forms, you can select between your forms and see the list of submissions. So it's got a built-in database right here. It already far exceeds Contact Form Seven. I mean, far and away, the drag and drop is so much better. The visual front end builder is so much better. Forminator Pro, if you're looking for a, a new form plugin, you've been using Contact Form 7, I'd highly recommend going with this plugin on all of your sites moving forward. It is a huge step in the right direction when it comes to free form plugins. To me, it's a game changer. I use it actually in place of Gravity Forms because my needs aren't super they're not really super in depth so i just use forminator i make sure that it's on every single site and it served me well but that's it i mean that's forminator pro it's a free form plugin it does exactly what you might expect it to do it allows people to submit to your site and it does it with ease so i hope you enjoyed it please make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on the bell if you want to get notifications if not it's cool just subscribe leave your comments below on this video and let us know your thoughts on Forminator and send us any links that you might be, uh, you might have Forminator on your site. We'd love to check them out and we'll see you in the next video.